If you try to attract girls with cheese, you're gonna end up with rats. That's a good line. Write that down. I've never seen a girl get dunked on more than this girl on 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 Fresh and Fit ever. I've never seen uh, 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 um, a girl get dunked on 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 huge fucking pussy. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Abba and Preach talking about a girl who was relentlessly insulted on Fresh and Fit. <laughs> she ends up making $72,000 profit for guys simping for her on OnlyFans. Okay, so that'll be entertaining to say the least. But before we jump to that, it is our special 4th of July sale today, 50% off my two major products, my two flagship products. You can go to the link in the description or pinned comment to learn all the details about that. And we will put a little kind of promotional video about the product sale, which came up pretty well. I encourage you to watch it. We'll put that in the end screen. It's only three and a half minutes. It's like a little mini high edited commercial. It's pretty cool. Thank you guys. Let's jump in. Abba and Preach. The guys who watched the Wednesday show of Fresh and Fit, you guys remember Stephanie Palomaras was getting dunked on by the chat the entire show. Yep. And I asked Stephanie Palomaras. Stephanie Palatitis. So I said, Stephanie, before the show, I need you to screenshot how many OnlyFans subscribers you have. And then afterwards, I need... And before the show, I need you to screenshot how many OnlyFans subscribers you have. And I'm going to say it again. Cold approach is 2% of gain. Oh my God. Talk about fucking annoying. Okay, Michael fucking Sartain. Rolo Tomasi's butt buddy. Okay, this guy's so fucking annoying. You need to tell me how many you have 24 hours later. Should we all do that right now? Yes, I yes. think. Yes. I already did yes. it. I, I think. Look how cool he thinks he is when he talks. All yeah. of you should do that. Now, here's what happened. <laughs> all the, like, I've never seen a girl get dunked on more than this girl on, on, on Fresh and Fit, ever. I've never seen uh, 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 um, a girl get dunked on, 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 on. Sounds like fucking Fresh Prince CEO. He's been hanging around the wrong crew too much. The whole chat was just on her the en entire time. She got 1,200 paying subs mm -hmm. in 24 hours. Oh my God. And cold approach is 2% of the game. I'm gonna say it again. Guys, hold on. For those of you who don't care. Hold on, guys. For those of you that are retarded. Do math because you went to public school. <laughs> For those of you that are stupid because you went to a public school and not like Michael Sartain. I wish you guys could hear all the fucking stories I hear behind the scenes of guys who hang around in circles with this guy. Huge fucking pussy. There's all this fronting online. He's like nervous to talk to girls. That's why he's afraid to do cold approach. He stands around just like by himself a lot of the clubs and shit like that. Huge fucking dork. Pretends a lot online. Goes to extravagant lengths to be part of all these like photo opportunities and stuff. Really fucking pathetic. $12,000 a month. That's $144,000 a year they from sitting you. for sitting there. He's always like making his points dramatically, making sure everyone's paying attention. For two and a half hours getting dunked on by the chat and she she wrote me later and she was like, yeah, it's totally worth it. I would do it again. That's what she told me. <laughs> what are you saying? Fresh and Fit is Dubai? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, they're going to get dunked on, but it's worth it. <laughs> you oh, know, but uh, the money, I, thought, money I, thought, I, I thought you said Fresh and Fit is Dubai. The bitches go there to get shat on. <laughs> yes, that's what I meant. And get for the money, for and it. then they get paid for it. Yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah. But it's totally worth it. Yeah, it's yeah. fucked up, I but it's it. worth it. I got you. So, yeah. Original things about the men they're attracted to on this show, and then I see men calling them 304s, and then I see these same women <laughs> ending up with thousands of new Instagram or uh, uh, OnlyFans subs. So, you guys in, in the chat, instead of coming after me and Rolo, you need to be coming after other dudes in the chat. And <laughs> no, you need to be coming after him and Rolo. I don't even watch those streams, but that's fucking hilarious that they're getting shit all over because they're fucking dumbasses. And asking which one of you motherfuckers is sitting there saying this shit and then subbing to these girls. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with subbing to these girls. What I am saying is trying to take the fucking high road. What's wrong is you're forming an alliance with a guy that hasn't fucked a new girl since before the year 2000. Okay, since the millennial change. Has never fucked a girl using online game. Has never fucked a girl utilizing text messaging. Wasn't even a thing yet. The guy is fucking talking out of his ass and it goes very well with Michael Sartain who doesn't know shit either. Thing. Is there something wrong with calling them whores and then subbing to their OnlyFans? That's something that is fucked up. That's, that's kindergarten thing. Whenever the little guy is pulling on the hair of a girl he likes. Hmm. It's just that he evolved to dunking on a girl and hiding me out of screen. Nobody sees you, so you dunk on that girl, oh, you this, you that. And there doesn't need to be a fucking correlation, right? It's like there's a girl with giant titties that went on a giant platform. Okay, there's a bunch of horny guys that like to jerk off. If she could have been complimented the whole time, and probably still would have got a lot of subs, okay? That's my fucking take on it. That, you, that, you, that, you say it out loud. It's funny. It makes a guy laugh. But then Oh, and there's a little separate announcement. Okay, I'm in Miami now. I'm going to be doing a special live tonight where I'm going to be giving a tour of the mansion where we're staying. And I'm also going to be breaking down my own personal Tinder profile. 
all the pictures with rationale for why they work so well, as well as breaking down the bio. And I'll be going over a bunch of viewers submitted Tinder profiles to break those down as well. Okay, so join me tonight for that live. They're actually gonna sub to her. It's just like back in my days, whenever there, there was dudes, there was dudes dunking on fat girls, all oh, this <laughs> and that, whatever, whatnot. They were the same dudes like going in 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 disguise. Yeah. Fuck you trying to ask them out or whatever, whatnot. It's all the red pill coaches these days. And hold hands and chill with them. And then when the other guys show up, they were like, yo, don't hold my hand. This, that's the same dudes. That's the same dudes. They're gonna say all- And also like, not everyone that's fucking watching is typing in the chat. And I know a lot of you are struggling with dating. You don't need to go fucking subscribe to these OnlyFans models and you know, watch them be fake nice to you and so on and so forth. You can learn the whole game across the board. The products are in 50% off sale for 4th of July. Highly recommend you take advantage of that before the sale is over, okay? The links are in the description and pinned comment. All this shit, but then next up, they're gonna be like, yeah, this and that. And, and these guys are the same dudes. They mm. do the same thing. The same Russian fit do the same thing. They're gonna dunk on all these girls and next to, next thing you know, they're gonna go out with them. They're gonna chill with them. They're gonna be like, yeah, I got a baddie with me. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's okay. <laughs> that's what they do. You have to understand that that's what they do and that's, what, that's what's going on. Because people always ask the question, why would these women go on this podcast and get hated on all this stuff? Because it's lucrative. Views. Some of them make a lot of money from it. Why did fucking... Patrick Bet David and Andrew Tate fly out to Romania shortly before he's charged with rape. Views, money, the end. It's a game to them. Yes. It's like you don't you don't understand how most of those guys who say that stuff to those women actually just really feel negatively about themselves. Yeah. And they just project it outwardly onto the women. But if those women even showed them a modicum of attention, you know they would turn into simps so yeah. fast. Yeah. So they're doing all this, all these fucking whores, these fucking fine. whores. The girls like hi, like. Uh, hello? <laughs> they don't understand it. Uh, ma'am? <laughs> the thing that happened is that you could call all these girls whores and this and that and whatever, whatnot, and the third. The difference is that they understand that it's a business. Yep. So whenever you go into that high value shit and you don't make money and stuff like that and flaunt it to a bunch of girls, basically, I said this shit before, all right? Hmm. If you try to attract girls with cheese, you're going to end up with rats. You understand what I'm saying? That's a good line. Write that down. Okay, there's so much fucking fancy, gamey, gimmicky, cheesy stuff. You need to just be authentic, move things forward, assume attraction, assume compliance. Okay, there's a very simple and straightforward optimized system to cut through all the BS. And that's what's going on. You're going to attract them with all the cheese and then you're going to be like, yeah, that's a whole, all she wants is my money. That's what you showed her. And that's the game. So you're going to have a bunch of hustlers that are going to get for the money. And that's the kind of women you go after. The whole like adherence to like religious ideas mm. but this obsession with whores. And yeah. The kind of women who constantly sell their bodies is like the majority of the people on these podcasts. <laughs> It's funny because <laughs> you would think... That's the other thing too, okay? Fresh and fit hosts, only fans, trash. Okay, and then they th say, oh, look. Look how all girls across the entire world are. No, it's a little subsection of like really shitty girls. Really big pieces of shit. And they're like, look. Look how terrible women are. Let's all hate women together. And everyone's like, yeah, sounds great. That This red pill stuff has been around for a long time, but it seems like for most of the people involved, they still can't get women. They still can't get <laughs> attention for women and they still can't meet their goals. Yeah, there you go. So what fucking good is it? I've sounded off countless times, but how it's toxic and poisonous. Okay, we're going to put a video on the end screen where I go through debunking the red pill and rational males talking points of Rolo Tomasi. Okay, you can go and look at that video and it will show you how stupid the red pill is. It's a whole series. Okay, we're also going to put that forth of July video for the promotion for the sale you can go watch that it's only three and a half minutes highly encourage it and take advantage of the links in the description if you just like a bunch more free content to help you solve different problems you're struggling with you can go to the quiz that's in the link in the description and that's going to ask you a series of questions it takes about 30 seconds and that will help hand curate okay the best videos on my channel to help you with those problems so watch that video in the end screen thank you guys so much happy fourth of July Stay tuned for later on when I do the tour of the mansion, break down my own Tinder profile, and break down the Tinder profiles of viewers. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and I will see you guys on the video soon. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out a cluster of fours. <laughs> Fixture, I'm a factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.